learning a unified embedding for visual search at Pinterest. Pinterest is a visual discovery engine. People come to Pinterest to discover ideas, like what I'm going to wear to work, or how I'm going to decorate my home. Whether it's cooking, makeup, or travel, we'll find content through our search and recommendation products. Visual search is one of the tools we provide our users for inspiration. Here, a user can dissect an image on Pinterest to find the exact product they're interested in. There are multiple flavors to visual search. One product, Prop and Zoom, allows users to search within any image on Pinterest to browse uh, the Pinterest catalog. We also have Lens, where users can search the Pinterest catalog of content from camera images. And we also have Shop to Look, where users can buy the exact product or something very visually simple. At the core of these products is the Match Engine, where we take two pieces of content, images here, and determine their similarities to each other. We pass an image through our convolutional neural network to extract embeddings. And we do the same for another image. To compute similarity, we can generate a distance between these two embeddings, where smaller distances are more similar. Looking back at the different products, we have Crop and Zoom to browse within Pinterest catalog images. We have Lens, where we match between camera images to the Pinterest catalog of images. And we also have Shop the Book, where we try to find the exact match, not just related content for browsing. Previously, each product had their own model trained specifically for the product's objective. Our paper describes how we train one model for all products in multiples, so that browsing within Pinterest, camera to Pinterest, and finding exact matches are all within one embedding and one metric space. Please check out our paper for details, like how we leverage both engagement datasets and also human-created datasets. What is our actual metric learning model architecture, along with our multitask offline experiments, such as dataset and loss balancing? And finally, the A-B experiments where we ran to launch our multitask embeddings for our users. Thank you.